Welcome to Eurosporters, the train spotter's guide to clubbing in Europe. This week, Colin and Magda go to that well-known European city, New York. Well, where better to spend New Year's Eve of the new millennium than in New York, which is right where we are now. It's so exciting, isn't it, Magda? We're standing in the heart of Greenwich Village. I've never been here before. I'm so looking forward to going out tonight. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part of it, New York, New York, these vagabond shoes. Well, we're now stood in Tribeca, which is the heart of Manhattan, in the triangle below Canal Street, that's what it stands for. But Magda, you look more like you're in Russia than Manhattan. Well, we are actually in New York, believe it or not. We've got a New York deli behind us and a New York dump truck. Well, we certainly have, but hopefully, Magda, you won't be doing any dumping tonight because we're at Quiet, which is a month-long party, and apparently it's crazy inside. And can I have some of your sake? Everyone else was getting a little dribble, but Quite unfortunately, I didn't get anything. Do I have can to get down on my knees? Yes, okay. Huh? Oh, there's none left. Oh it's dribbling all down my chin. It's the first. It's actually, it's quite nice. It's a bit. It's very, very strong, isn't it? I tell you, Missy, you leave me alone with you, and I might do anything. Tell me what you're wearing, Cynthia. I'm wearing a little bit of arugula, some saran wrap, some basic uh, American cheese slices. This is a five-floor, two-building art extravaganza right here in Lower Manhattan. And you've also designed that weird cube next door with some very saucy images, haven't you? That we went, we went and had a look last night, and we oh, were quite yes. shocked. Oh. We were. Oh. What was that is a, that it cube has, is still under production. Oh, really? Yes. It seemed yes. like one of the girls had lost something, and she was trying to find it up someone else's orifice. A little bit risque. <laughs> fire. Well, I had to take you here, Magda, because this is my favourite building in the whole of New York. It's one of the world's first skyscrapers, about 300 foot tall. Absolutely incredible. Do you know, it's only six foot wide at its base. It really is. Do you like all this sightseeing? Well, Colin, I have to say I've had enough now. I'm just looking forward to going to some bars to pull. But girls, if you think this is going to be an 18 to 30 holiday, think again, because it's not. There's absolutely no single men left in New York. Thank goodness for the heat. Chelsea district of New York and we are at the tunnel, in fact the city's biggest club, 5,000 people in here, seven different rooms, everything from trance to hip hop. So Magda, what do you think of it? I think it's the most amazing club I've ever been to, New Year's Day, it couldn't be better, it's absolutely packed out, everything is here, the best DJs in the world, we're going to have a fantastic night. Saving them about, oh, them about, my name, them about, to the music, they want to be on. The people, them, I beg me to buy 
years before. They got love the way we play the art board. They might jump and shout like a world of war. Watch out. We're right standing here in the bathroom of the Channel Club. Now this is the most fantastic bathroom you've ever seen because it's actually a bar in the bathroom. So you can come here, you can go to the toilet and you can also have a drink. And right behind me all these guys are going to go and queue up and have a pee or whatever they're going to do. They've got lots of glow sticks here as well haven't they? Where have you been going? They were here, I've seen them on the main dance floor. You should get out a bit more there. Oh no. New York ran away from techno back in like 96 and now it's coming back again. Tell us about the club scenes over here in New York. The club scene in New York pretty much, uh, it's pretty much the same as uh, in London. We have uh, mainstream, it's on techno, uh, progressive house, uh, a, lot of, a lot of hard stuff. I love England and everything, but everybody has a misconception about New York City. It's not a bad place to be, it's really good. Has it changed over the last five years? Well, yeah, you got Mayor Giuliani, who's uh, the worst mayor, I think, New York has seen. So Girl who loves to come. Yes, <laughs> that's me. Three drinks for everybody, always at Tunnel. Times Square, of course. Times Square, baby. Welcome to the year 2000. We're here with Rob in the in the bathroom, the bathroom of the Channel Club. Now, Rob, where did you spend last night, New Year's Eve? Um, in the city. Whereabouts in the city? Right in the center of Times Square. And Eminem was on here last night as well. Yes, did they you were. miss him? So tell us your New Year's resolution. My New Year's resolutions? To get my nails done every week. I know, because they are looking a little bit crappy, really, aren't they? My New Year's resolution is to have more fun than last year. Have you got any bad habits, though, that you're going to give up? Uh, bad habits? Snor we'll have to ask your girlfriend that, won't we? Miss uh, Kelly, do you snore at night? Uh, do you fart yeah. a lot? What is your New Year's resolution? Uh, to work out. To try to work out <laughs> and uh, gain weight and try to put behind like everything that happened this year. One of my, my best friends that used to come here every Saturday with me passed away. So she passed away from bacterial meningitis. So it was very sudden. Everyone likes exercise and healthy living in America. Yeah, but I'm from Canada. Just get drunk all year long. Not a one. <laughs> You're perfect already. Respect. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Junior Vasquez is one of, one of the great DJs around here. I think he does like on. Junior Vasquez, so that's every Saturday night at tw uh, um, Twilo, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, Junior's one of the all-time greatest. He's one, one of my inspirations. How I old is he now? Junior, I believe, is uh, approaching 50. And do you like the Tunnel Club? The Tunnel? Amazing. I got, what can I say? Too many people, but it's all good. Lots of people, I love it. I got to pat myself on the back, I think. Definitely. Nice. You can fly to New York from as little as 150 pounds. Hotel rooms aren't cheap, expect to pay around 90 pounds for a double room. But it is cheap to get around, the subway runs all night at around 80p a single and no cab ride should cost much more than $5. The city is far safer than it's been in the past and you should have no worries walking around at night. Bars to check out for are the Spy Bar.